That's got to be good enough. Hello, everyone. Fluffy here. Back with an Aldi's haul. And then, uh, while we're doing this, I got to tell you the dumbass stuff I did, I uh, have been doing. So, <laughs> I'm cut off. I'm still trying to learn this camera. So, um, but you can see me and you'll be able to see the products. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. <sighs> Got a couple of new things, some fun things. Uh, let's start off. We got some lemon extract. Y'all, I don't know how to. Oh no! Just gonna have to take my word for it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it can. So at least I know. Okay, garlic. Put down the garlic fluff. Okay, we can try that again. Nope. I think it's because there's a glare. I don't know. Does it like lemon extract? <laughs> Extra sharp cheese. Some more the street uh, taco size flour tortillas for the kid. Oh, I forgot. That's flashing low battery, but I promise you I had the battery plugged in. So hopefully. Some fudge mint cookie. Mini croissants for the boyfriend. Some necessity paper. Some banana chips for the niece. Some honey mustard. I'm trying to rush because I see this flashing battery. Green onions. Three garden salads. There's two. Here's the third one. A cauliflower. Okay, do y'all like your cauliflower better raw or cooked? I go both ways. I do not like broccoli raw. Uh, I like cauliflower with some ranch dressing raw. Some roast beef. Y'all, the kid one day made me a hot roast beef and cheese sandwich. Oh my God, it was so good. Some more. Some more butter. It's always better with butter. <laughs> Some uh, Gruyere cheese. This says Swiss and Gruyere. So that's cool. I thought it was just Gruyere, but then I finally took a good thing. Good look at it. Imitation, the crab meat. We got the pieces again. And the leg meat. The crab leg meat. Our old standby. We got some smoked turkey breast, some more cheese. You know, some people don't like American cheese. I, I don't understand it. Uh, the niece got some almond milk creamer for her. Creamer, yes, niece, can I tell them what's going on with you? Yeah, I'm dying. She's not dying, but she's got some a gallbladder issues. So uh, she went to the emergency room the other night. And uh, so the gallbladder will have to come out. So uh, sometime this week, we'll be going in and uh, having her get that taken care of. So 
some prayers would be appreciated. So, uh, with gallbladder issues, you can't have a lot of dairy, a lot, can't have a lot of fat. Some of y'all who have gallbladder issues, she's got gallstones. So, we're trying to get her through the week till we can get her some surgery. So, uh, we've got the almond milk creamer for her. Uh, some Kobe Jack sliced. Some Swiss cheese slices. Some Monster cheese slices. Y'all, the, 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 the kid when she was little used to call it monster cheese. Some Kobe Jack cubes. All right, these next three, we, we're hoping like hell they taste good. <laughs> we picked them up for the cuteness. <laughs> so this is new. I don't know if y'all have seen these yet. It says Wensley Dale. There it is. Wednesday Dale cheese. So it's like Day of the Dead cheese. Uh, no rest for the wicked. So I'm hoping that's like a, a white cheese or a cheddar. Oh, the other one had strawberry and Prosecco. Bat knit crazy cheddar. So we know this is cheddar. Isn't that cute? And Freaky Franken Sage Derby. Wild Derby cheese with dried sage. What the hell is a Derby cheese? I mean, I'm just asking. It's all right um had this last year but we liked it and it was still just 6.99 and some of you uh, who are new to my channel may not have seen that video because it's like hello all last year although a couple of y'all are going way back fluff way back like mukbang number 20. <laughs> i still suck y'all but i sucked really hard back then <laughs> these fall coffee pods Pumpkin pie, salted caramel, cinnamon hazelnut, coconut caramel, apple pie, and cinnamon sticky buns. Some of these were really good, and a couple of them were eh, but coffee is coffee, so it's still going to taste like coffee, even if you don't taste some of the flavors, right? So, we, uh, the uh, kid wanted to get them again, and they're 100% Arabica coffee, so that's real good. Yeah, I went through finally got those coffee pods i was looking at yesterday yeah y'all think you were sick of hearing about it it got, we got notification that uh it had arrived i thought it was supposed to come to the door it came to the mailbox my kid was so over it she got in the car and went to go get it out of the mailbox she says i'm so sick of hearing about that <laughs> and the banana nut did not taste like banana although the kid tried it and she said that it tasted just like the banana laffy taffy she liked it so much we've got two different other brands of banana coffee coming today <laughs> but this is what it looked like it's the mods brand and this is how it came the banana is missing and then there she tried uh almond biscotti, the almond biscotti is what she tried and it has uh dreamy creamy salted caramel uh mods sister hazel not in parentheses. Uh, cinnamon roll with it. Roll, get it roll, roll with it. Jamaica rum yum. French toast roast. And raspberry chocolate. And then French vanilla. My kid's rushing me because of the battery. We don't want to run out. Should I say my goodbyes now? <laughs> and then cut it and put it at the end. <laughs> Some uh, beans. Uh, these can have that. So we'll make her a pot of beans so she can eat. We got French vanilla kid had a dig for that one y'all she did really good she like had to pull a couple of boxes out her butter cookie again two percent milk for the niece so she can have some cereal because uh anything high fat's not good for the gallstones whole milk y'all i have a, sl a sludgy gallbladder so um yeah I had a PA friend of mine who is my daughter's godfather. He's like, you realize it's going to have to come out eventually. And I'm like, well, what helps the sludgy gallbladder? 
He's like, uh, a vegan diet. Now, you all know that shit ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, I try to be careful. Yeah, but I do have pains every now and again from it. Okay. We got some spinach G fluff. Uh, we're like really shocked that there's like spinach. <laughs> Me too. Some celery. Y'all, yeah, we're almost done with those two packs. I know. Raspberries. I mean blackberries. There has to had been a really good deal on them, I think. Because she got three of them. 59 cents. 59 cents, y'all. Wow. I don't know about your area, but these blackberries are very expensive here. Some more baby bella mushrooms. These are big. I think the farmer got, whoever was supposed to watch the crops got fired. They're almost portobellas. Had pomegranates on sale. So Denise got herself one. A cabbage. Green grapes. So before the thing goes out while I'm folding this, I've been feeling in my feels again and feeling kind of yak and everything and I couldn't understand it. And yesterday, every Saturday, I have to fill up my pill container. So I'm filling up my pill container and all of a sudden I see another bottle and I'm like, well, what's this bottle? To make a, a, a long story less long because it's already long, the last two weeks, I've been dosing myself with 20 milligrams of Cymbalta instead of the 60. I couldn't believe it. This thing is full of veggies, so I'm just going to pull them out here instead of trying to pick up this bag. So, yeah. This, so, then I went from 20 to 60 last night, and I didn't I didn't think I was going to be able to make it this morning. That was a, a slap in the face dose. So, sweet potatoes. On the upside, I think if I ever have to taper down or taper off of them... Uh, I won't have the side effects that Cymbalta usually comes with because the uh, withdrawal from Cymbalta is so severe sometimes there's a name for it. So, more white onions because we're down to one. Yeah, y'all can, can call me dumbass. You really can because it was. <laughs> My daughter couldn't believe it. Some Roma tomatoes. Some broccoli. Look at this cute little acorn squash. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Some whole carrots. Uh, kids going out with the boyfriend later on to watch the movie. Uh, Zombieland. Zombieland 2. But she's making sure that she has stuff for us to eat because we can't be left on our own. <laughs> Baby carrots. She goes, you two are going to have this. <laughs> Some more little potatoes like in the boil. I'm so glad you enjoyed that boil. Y'all, that was strictly off the cuff. She just went around whatever we had. and We still had some of the Obey seasoning and stuff. So, butternut squash. And spaghetti squash. That's a cute little spaghetti squash. <laughs> And that's it. Told you about the D's. Told you about the dumb stuff I did with my medicine. That's it. I'll, I'll close this because it's still flashing. God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I love y'all and I will talk to y'all real soon. Okay? Bye.